Life in the mountains can be harsh, relentless, but undeniably beautiful. The cold altitude and terrain tries to deny access to the tallest wonder of the world. I guess that's what draws people in. Pushing yourself to your limits is the only way you can break them. We decided to do just that. It was a cold one last night. Hundred thirty kilometers, hiking eight hours a day. This will be the highest altitude my body has ever experienced. The Himalayas, the world's highest mountain range home to all 14 peaks over 8,000 meters, including Mount Everest and K2. When it comes to trekking, going to Everest Base Camp has been on my list since I was little. Our journey begins in Kathmandu. The Tahar Festival of Lights was an incredible welcoming. I met the crew when I lived in Iqaluit, Nunavut, but have since moved. They think they only have five trekkers in their group. Little do they know, I'm right around the corner. Today's the day, Kathmandu. Uh, Isaac's gonna be at the Airbnb with the crew, and then he's gonna tell them that the guide is gonna come and meet them. So what I'm thinking is buying a little balclava and kind of surprise them then. I'm very excited and I hope uh, I can uh, film it for you. Getting ready. And then uh, I come over here. <laughs> hey, sleepyhead. Oh. Tracking day one. After a very bumpy six hour bus ride from Kathmandu to Ramchap, we realized after talking to locals, there are flights directly from Kathmandu for $200. We then flew from Ramchap to Lukla to begin our journey. Are you sure? Oh yeah. We decided as a group to carry our own personal bags, around 30 pounds each, and hiring no guide. That being said, we do appreciate the amazing grit and strength from the Sherpas and Yaks carrying our food, propane, and bedding for each village stay. Hi. 
Hi, my Michael. name is Michael. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> what place um, this is, is this called? Uh, Green Bliss Guest House. Okay. Green Bliss Guest House. All right, we'll give a comprehensive review. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you thank for you. your help, Michael. Thank Namaste. you. Thank you. Where from? Oh, Canada. Canada. All of from Canada. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love that. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Michael. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Namaste. Starting day two. I'm Jay. Not uh, not a crazy day. Nicole. No, a little bit of a climb at the very end. So I like that. But yesterday uh, was was uh, decent. It was decent. Decent. <laughs> it was more. It was more of a downgrade, more downhill. But we took it easy. Three hour, at least eight k. Feeling okay. Gotta take our uh, altitude pill now and get some breakfast. Decent sleep, Isaac? I slept like a baby. I think we got something like 16 hours. Oh. <laughs> I think uh, we needed that after that uh, long bus ride. And the fact that they came from Dubai, I think 48 hours plus of no sleep, they needed that, so. All right, yeah. let's do this. Do you have the cinnamon again? <laughs> yeah. Life is a winding yes. road. <laughs> no telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights. Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head Hannah. high Even if the sky is falling Woo. down Let's go! Sleep herb. It's a beautiful sleep. Nice. With a decent view in the morning. Hannah, how'd you sleep? Very good. Nice. <laughs> Katie? It was good. Nice. Cold. Cold? You're cold. No, I wasn't cold, but it's cold. It's Climatization day. Going for a day trip. And you trip. want uh, garlic soup or uh, to the Everest Hotel? What do you want? Veg soup? <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
checked out a local recycling initiative, Sagamartha Next, creating souvenirs out of bottle caps. <laughs> Climatization day three. We went and checked out the Tenzing Norge monument, which is a day hike from Nemchi. And then we crossed over to 3,800 meters to the Everest uh, View Hotel. Had a nice lunch. And I'm going to give a tour of our Nemchi Hotel. Starting with our room, equipped with two blankets, which was nice. Next door neighbors, a little noisy, but they'll do. <laughs> the noisier ones, not in right now at the moment. And our other neighbors, hello. How do you like the room? It's okay, it's a little chilly. Even with the blanket? Yeah. Really? I think just in general, it's chilly here. I feel like our room is a lot warmer than yours. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Irish pub, Namji. Let's do this. Wood fire pizza? Are you serious? Yeah, with the ashes. Just sit on that table. It's a bit warm, man. Just like fire. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Day four, off to Tambuche. 9K, I believe. Two thirds, relatively flat. Last third, 400 meter gain. You ready, Kyle? Walk one. We catch you. Okay. Bracing ourselves for one of the biggest climbs yet. What are we doing, Isaac? Doing 600 meters up to that hill where it turns brown, and then we got a couple hundred meters on that ridge. Oh Piece my gosh. Easy peasy. Let's do this. You got this, Katie. Third of the way, I reckon. Let's do this. Go hand. Katie, give us a tour. <laughs> Himalayan Hotel? Yes, sir. We have this room for so two fifty each, two dollars fifty cents a night. And generally, the deal is you have to eat at each of these places. To get the deal. Yeah. So a lot of these places this would cost five hundred bucks so. a night in Bath. Because uh, I'm trying to be respectful to the local 
33 kilometers so far. We have a 600 meter gain today. Only sleeping at 4,000 meters. Let's see how that goes. Where are we arriving, Isaac? Uh, this is Jingboche, right below Lhotse and Nuxi. That's right. And it's colorful town and point out what we're gonna do for climatizing tomorrow. That faint beige trail up to that gray peak. Very nice. Good job, crew. Okay. Woo! Upon arrival, Herb was experiencing nausea, severe headache, and fatigue, all symptoms of altitude sickness. We stayed an extra day to rest and monitor his symptoms. Morning. Waking up day six in Dengbuche. It was a cold one last night. I slept in my puffer, my hat pants but luckily our lodge had these nice duvets we had a nice uh, game of monopoly deal and a great meal in the uh, dining room with a nice wood stove fueled by uh, yak shit dried yak shit i love that very sustainable did you see uh, them putting the pellets in i did it the patties yeah, I saw her. Yeah, okay. Don't even mind it. It keeps us warm. Feeling okay for now. I was treating my, my toe. Infected toe there. We'll see how that uh, pans out, but it feels a lot better. And we're checking in on everybody's uh, uh, altitude sickness, of course. Always playing it safe. Gonna get some breakfast here. Get out of this warm bed. Oh, the whole thing? Really? Right now? One at a time? Oh, there's a lot. That's a lot of shit. It's he's, probably like 25. It's yeah, probably full going. of well, shit. With that attitude, you'll never finish. Just chuck, chuck them in? <laughs> chuck what in? Chuck what in, yeah. Answer the question. How about you take a Put bite? them to work. No. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Good job, Isaac. Isaac. You. Thank you, guys. Thanks, <laughs> BG. Day. Walk, walk, we got the legend himself still with us. Let's go, Herb. <laughs> We're off to the pyramid today. What of you? Let's go, Hannah.
upper packs off and uh, push for Everest Base Camp. Everest base camp. I'm having a well deserved Pringle break. Alright, last time to shop. The iconic rock, waiting our turn. Let's have a quick picture, then back, back home. Whoa! Is that good luck? To see one? When Herb went to the doctor, what he thought was altitude sickness was really strep throat. With antibiotics and a strong will, Herb pushed no on and way. surprised us when we were descending from Gorakshep. Good to see you, kid. Being team captain and horse, Isaac decided to do base camp again the next day with Herb so he wouldn't do it alone. That's a solid friend. Not excited because I, I want him to do it. Yeah. Well done, sir. The only tourist to ever do base camp two days in a row. I was saying, since I've been 28, I've always gone to base camp every day, every single day. Every single day. To play it safe, Herb, Katie, and Hannah all descended to Namche while Kyle, Isaac, and I pushed to do Gokyori via Cholo Pass, then back to Namche. pass and we just probably scaled three maybe 400 meters like champs I'm proud of these boys we're just preparing ourselves for the glacier 
crossing. We got our crampons. Then after that, a little bit more uphill. We get to, I think, five, five, four altitude and then down to Dragnab and Gokio for the night. Woo! Don't say you're ridiculous, you're not even close. Don't wish for indifference, you're not one of those. We fall, we fall, but we always rise up through it all, it all. We get a little wiser. Top of the glacier. There's things in life you simply need to know. But sun and rain and trust in letting go. It takes a bit of suffering, sleepless nights and wandering. If boy you make it safely to the end, the end, the end. And if you ever wonder, there is nothing wrong with a little thunder. There's things in life you simply need to know. About sun and rain and trust in letting go. It takes a bit of suffering, sleepless nights and wandering. First hot shower in 10 days. We're at Gokio. We splurged a little bit. We're at a mountain lodge. And Isaac and Kyle got the, the deluxe room, so comes with shower. I gotta hurry because it's solar power and it uh, gets cold at five. <laughs> Still around the corner from Namche from Gokyo. What a day! 23 plus K. We're gonna check and put it here in the video. And we're all not feeling too hot. We have the Kumbu cough. We're meeting up with the other three that um, sadly had to do uh, the main route back due to altitude sickness and strep. But we'll have a little reunion here in Namche. Looking forward to it. Hey, we're reunited. Look at us. I was starting to, okay. hey? I was just starting to feel like more like, Aww. not like sick like I was going but uh, just tired. <laughs> The 
Carry Me Back program has hikers bring back one kilogram of trash back to Luca. I know that you are having a hard time right now. That everything seems to crumble around you. I know that you feel all alone in this hey, you world, got it. but you have to put your trust into us, and we will help you because we only want what's best. What's best for you? <laughs> wow. Final push. An hour and a half here. Until I Lukla. know that you are having trouble. A lot of hills. Leaving right now. <laughs> A nice feeling. That everything is gonna be. It's gonna be alright. I know that you feel all alone in this world, but you have to. And that's a wrap. Put your trust into Woo. us, and we will. Oh. Help well done, sir. You through, cause we only want what's best. What is best for you? Yeah, Day 12, we're, days. we're falling apart. We, we gave 120%. We left our body and soul out in the Himalayas. <laughs> We're hurting. <laughs> Kyle, are you defeated? <coughs> yeah. <laughs>
dinosaur. Till next time, Katie. Let's do this again sometime. Same place. In Dubai. Same place. All right, brothers, once again. Yeah, good luck at home. Have a good uh, Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. So there you have it. We had our sights set on Everest Base Camp, but got much more than that. Despite our setbacks, we stuck together and made lifelong memories. So ridiculous. <laughs> it's a yak. It's a yak. Ha 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 ha!